Keep turning. Turning. On that wall, right there. Yeah, like on that wall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Cool. <laughs> I was making a joke and he just made it weird. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think we can start. <laughs> so I started recording when I got back. Oh, you already did? Awesome. Yeah, yeah. It popped up that said recording without other people's knowledge may be illegal in your state. But <laughs> I then he didn't, anyway. didn't well, inform uh, us. No, when he started recording, a little voice came up and said, this call is now being recorded. So it did notify us. Mm. No, a voice didn't tell me. It just was a big red button in the corner. I didn't see anything. It speaks to us all differently. <laughs> How you interpret it. Um, Ken, you still there? Yep. Good. Um, well, welcome back, guys. Last time, we left off by you guys storming the hideout of these goblins. You... Entered into the cave, fell down some cliffs. You caused some floods to almost sweep you away before ice, before an ice wall. We, I don't think we caused the flood. <laughs> there was a flood that almost swiped you away until an ice wall came and saved the day. Um, you tamed was some, with some amazing animal handling skills. You yeah, baby. do the impossible <laughs> and tame three wolves. To My babies. be on your side and to help you. Um, and you continued on. You entered into a big chamber with a bugbear and took out the bugbear as he ran away. And you collected the goblins in that room, fed them to the wolves, and decided <laughs> to barricade the balls yes. and try to take a long rest and so I assume you guys you were in this oh let's um, enter the map let's see here how do I switch I think there's where I can click here and just like share this tab instead boom Did that work yeah. enter the map um, <laughs> so you uh you have found you there was already a campfire you guys decided to take this little room fortify it and you wanted to uh start to take a nap as ender was near death and the rest of you might have been scratched a little bit <laughs> but just a flesh wound this is a flesh wound but uh this is a flesh wound but ender was at like uh quite low um, I've seen worse. <laughs> so, um, you guys have just finished the battle. You just packed up everything. Is there anything you want to do while you guys are standing here uh, prepping or getting ready to take an eight-hour sleeping inside of this hangout? Hide out. <laughs> That? No, you haven't slept yet. You just. Oh. We, just for, we fortified everything. You fortified everything, yes. So, by fortified, I believe what you did was you uh, took the boxes that had the big blue lion um, surrounded by a shield and like put them up in the front. Food lion? <laughs> You put that. You put one near the. Um, that kind of went down to where the wolves used to be, and you. Oh, look at You barricade the entryway, correct? I also, I also took bits of metal, like silverware, other things that I could find in the supplies that were in that room, and I put them on the top of the boxes as a sort of alarm. Clever, cool. Are you are they forks up or the spoons spooning or are they set up like uh, clapping spoons? 
Or just uh, throw it up there randomly to see if something goes Pokemon like. Placed precariously so that if the fortifications were moved by someone on the other side, they would fall down and we wouldn't notice. Okay. I'm already <laughs> sleeping. Okay. Ender ignored everything and just fell asleep. Okay. So Tinks, Zen, He basically and... passed out because he's exhausted. Do we want to take night like, watch turns? Because I can go first. Is that a thing? Yes, we do. Um, I'll play like and Zen, well, Zen will be second rank. He only needs four hours. Correct. Um, we also, Ryan... Um, or sorry, Drover, Dungeon Master, dude. Um, we last last time we also talked about before before we boarded up the chimney, we went down and we hid the bugbear's corpse in the garbage. Yes, the corpse. Um, so if you look on the map, there is a little like red circle with the trash on top of it. Because yeah, you look down and you hid that corpse so that no one will see it next. Good, good memory there, Mark. As in, Mark. I guess that was Mark. As in the character. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think hiding a corpse would be a bad memory. <laughs> yes, those are the dead goblins that get stuck in the corner. To, uh, the, the, yeah. Yeah, that, those are the dead goblins that in from that room that you threw the corner of the wolves. Well, the wolves had to have something to eat. Oh, okay, that's that makes yeah. The wolves had all the goblins to chew on. Better than yourselves, right? And they don't taste very nice, does they, precious? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I heard that they're going to be some night watches. Mm -hmm. Tinks going first, and then what's happening? Then um, Zen is going to do it. And, uh, and Zen will take up the rest. I'll wake you up with a sweet song, Zen. Okay, so you guys nestle down to the sound of wolves munching on some goblins uh, and nipping at each other. Goblin. Um, so it's not the Ooh, best of gobbling, gobbling goblins. So it's not the <laughs> best of sleep, but it, it, it suffices. Um, Beth, I need you uh, to do a perception rule for night watch. Okay, let me push this button. <laughs> Nineteen plus four is twenty-three. Nice, you are awake. That's right. I got my fuel, man. <laughs> you got your chips. You're not <laughs> I've been writing songs all night long. Goblins gobble in the corner. <laughs> Wolves are howling in the night. Ender's hanging on by just a thread, but we're all feeling alright. You're welcome. I love so it. You guys serenade into sleep. Um, an hour goes by. Another um, hour goes, and Tinks. You hear from the outside of the um, fortifications to the north um, a, a scramble and some kind of like clawing or uh, knocking, scratching kind of sound on the barricade that you corrected. And you hear this, what you would presume to be words. But you don't understand the language as uh, you hear this voice on the other side go, Clark! I can understand the What language do you know? I don't know. Hold on, let me find the right button. I know Goblin, though. Um, You're asleep, so you can't tell her that. Well, they already know that. Oh. They already know asleep. Wait, is it just under languages? Yeah, languages. Yeah. You know common and gnomish. I thought I knew other stuff. You got lots of tools. No, it's one of my... Oh, it's a spell to comprehend languages? 
That's a thing? I thought it was just like naturally. No, nope, you have a spell that okay. you can uh, do to comprehend. If I use a spell in the middle of a long rest, does it still recharge? Um, I would say because you haven't slept yet, that it would count. I would like to um, comprehend what it's saying, so I'm going to um, cast a... I'm going to crawl... Um, hmm, that's that it could be. Is it... Wait, is it... Where, to the north is also where the um, goblins are? Can you point where on the map you're talking about? Yeah, I'm just saying right here, like, at the barricade. Oh, at the so at the barricade, you hear scratches and like this knocking, and it's like, clang! <laughs> Can I cast Sense of Sight? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sense of Sight. Yeah. 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 The language spell is um, it's like a babble fish, where you are able for the duration, which is an hour, to um, understand the literal me the literal meanings of any spoken language that you hear. You can also understand any written languages that you can see. Right, well, let's just cast it out myself. But she can't speak it. Iggity ziggity yeah. zaggity zoom. You can't zoom. speak it. I don't need yeah. to speak. Yeah. Iggity ziggity zaggity zoom. Tinks is. Listening from this room. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so as you call over, the sound gods are quiet, and then you hear it again, and it scratches, Clog! The wolves are gone, and someone's killed some goblins! Clog! Are you in there? Well. Um. How long has it been? One hour? It's been about an hour and a half. Everyone else is asleep. Everyone else is asleep. Oh, why did you do this to me? <laughs> okay. Oh, this is kind of weird. And I can't speak the language. You can't speak the language. You can just understand what they're saying. No, but someone in your group can. <laughs> Who's asleep and can't be telling her about this. You gotta How do they know all these things? Michelle is speaking in meta text or out of context. That's illegal. Yes. But I think you guys did... But she did speak. No, to... I spoke Goblin twice already. Yes. Was, I, was I sleeping? No, no. Was, no, you would you would know this. Okay. Yeah, was, you know I, I speak. Saying... So I didn't need to cast a stinking spell and do all that stuff. You oh, did. I don't like being stressed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well the... I'm gonna go wake up Rochelle. I mean, um, Kai. I'm gonna. Where, where is she sleeping? Does it matter? I'm by my wolves. You're by your wolf stuff, creature. <laughs> hey, man, some some goblin noticed that your wolves are missing, and uh, they're trying to get in. They think we're they're trying to find out if that bugbear guy's in here. So, and she's okay. talking. Oh, something's going on. You want to? I'm gonna go get Yemek. 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 So so I run over there, and in my like deep gobliny voice, I say no. I'm fine. We just got attacked. We barricaded, but we were able to scare them off. No need to alert the others. Got attacked? Let me in. Let me in. No, I can't. I'm confused. Why are you barricaded? We needed to make sure they didn't come back. I have a special thing I need to deliver to the king. And I can't make sure anyone gets in. Oh. Uh, the wolves are gone. Yes. I think the people who came in set them free and they ran off into the woods. What? Uh, 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 the, uh, I can't feed the wolves if the wolves are gone. What do I do? Just go get the others in the other room and just have them make sure to look out to make sure. Go have them. How about this? Go have them scout out in the forest to make sure that no other people are coming up the road. All of them? What? All of us? No, of course not all of them. Keep... Keep like two or three of them here 
in the front, up near the bridge, like always. Wait, so did you kill the people, or are they out in the woods? I'm confused. They ran out to the woods. I told With you. the wolves? No, they set the wolves free. Ah, oh, don't you understand anything? Insolent fool. Uh, why do you sound weird? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I lost a little bit of blood, okay? Uh, so, I don't need to feed the wolf today? No. They have gone off into the woods. Go grab a search party and go hunt for all the guys who just left. Go get the guys or the wolves? Leave the wolves alone. Go find the people who attacked us now! Okay, I'll go get people, and I'll tell Emic that we have to go. Okay. Uh, okay, we'll be back. Okay, go. Don't and come back till you find them. What, what, what was that? <laughs> what? What was that? I ran away, sorry, I didn't hear you. I said, don't come back till you find them. We've got to find them. They're part of the people that that we've been looking for. You need to go find them. The people? What people? The king. He asked for pe the travelers. Just yes. grab a third party, go yeah, out we in the woods, and find the people who attacked us. Go now. Okay. And you hear the little patterns running off. Well, um, okay, uh, Tink, what do you think? Do you think we should probably gather all of our stuff and, and get out of here? Yeah, I'm with you. Do you think Ender's healed enough, though? Well, he'll have to figure it out. Can you try healing him at all? I think, um, yeah, I have a healing we, do we have anything to make any medicines to help him heal? I, uh, I have some medicine skills that I learned in the university. Cool, there's, um, some peat moss here in the cave. Can, uh, you two do a, um, perception check? Last time I did a perception thing, I got a 23 and was... Okay. So I don't want a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, perception? Yes. 14 plus 4 is a saving throw or something else? A skill. No, it's a skill. Okay. Okay. Perception. Got a fifteen. Yeah, you got a what? Eighteen. Eighteen, Ken. Ken, it. Wait, am I? Um, will you do a uh, stealth check? At least, I know I made that my weakest skill. Uh, my stealth is plus two, or. Yeah, so you just click on that plus two and a dice should pop up. Oh. Two. <laughs> Wait, four. Four, four, four. And plus two. Okay, four. I got a four. Okay, so Tinks and uh, Kaya, as you guys are talking about this, um, how to heal people, you hear this loud clunger, clanger, clank. Um, as... Uh, you see this, um, wait, let me see this, because I think he has, um, disadvantage on stealth, actually. He does. I do. <laughs> so disadvantage means you roll two dice and you take the lowest. <laughs> but you already got a two, so I think that it's hard to beat that. Um, <laughs> so... Tinks and Kai. Kai, right? Kai. Yes. You guys um, are talking about this. You hear this huge, like, 
clinking, clanking of some armor, and you see the um, you look over and the the box that you had put in over the uh, that you put over the chimney gets rolled away, and you see this head pop up. Ken, what is you? What is what do you look like? Ken? Ken? You see very little of the actual head. You see a spiked, uh, ominous looking helmet and suit of heavy armor with a small slit, and behind that slit are two piercing, tortured black eyes. <laughs> Uh, hey there. I grab my bow and arrow and I point it straight towards him. I say, who are you? Someone who is more inclined without an arrow fixed on them. <laughs> Give me your name and why you're here. And why I shouldn't let this arrow go straight through your head. My name is Arwood, and I can give you Arwood of Natiri, and I can give you no reason to end my tortured life. Why are you here? For the same reason you are. <laughs> and what do you think that is? Let us not play games. There is no time. Are you alone? Are you alone? I am alone with the demons of my soul, yes. <laughs> You're awesome, kid. Won't go. Won't go. Won't go. How's it go? Can you start playing that song? Yes. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go elsewhere. In my head, go. In my head, and they won't go. What are you after? Well, do you want a hand up? <laughs> I'm not very intimidated. I like the bard. She is nice. Do <laughs> you go and give a hand up? Yep, I come over. I walk over to him and offer my arm. My strong gnomish arm. I'm still keeping the arrow pointed towards him in case he makes any sketchy move. My hand takes the uh, the gnomish arm. <laughs> you, find, you find you find that that Arwood is is disproportionately heavy, as if he's carrying the weight of of uh, of many lead bars on his soul. Guy, come help me! Oh, this is hard. I'm with the he, he got all the way up. He can get out of there by himself. Uh, well, we gotta get out of here. Wait, start waking the others up, and we'll, we'll talk together about this newbie. That's why I'm here. Why are you here? I know the journey with which you uh, you you have embarked, and I have come to help. For I have read the signs and read the fates, and there is great danger ahead. Are we to do we put the one on the way out? We just sent one away. He's supposed to be running out to the woods. The little scurry scurry guy? I mean, I saw him. Okay. Well, that's good, Ty. He listens to you. <laughs> what a fool. <laughs> and I guess that works out to our advantage. I walk over to Ender and I start elbowing him to wake him up. What are you doing? We gotta go. Why? Our spot's been compromised. No, it hasn't. <laughs> Get up, you lazy bum. No, what, what are you talking about? Why would we leave? We're literally Let's in a rest. stone fortress. It'll be the only <laughs> rest he has. The only peace from demons is in sleep. What, what could... What, what could possibly mean us? What are you talking about? <laughs> there was a goblin who came up looking for the, uh, I forgot his name already. What was the guy that we killed? Okay, and you killed him, and so what? 
No, we didn't kill him. We told him to take the others that were still in here and go search for a party out in the woods. So they're gone. For I'm now, going but they're going to, to return. They're going to return. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm going back to sleep. Get up! Leave me alone. I just Do you want to be <laughs> attacked with all of them? We're well, going to go something fishy. We're in a fortress. There's like five goblins, and they're not even here. Why are we leaving? <laughs> well, if this random newbie can get up here, we're gonna. The goblins can too. No, but the random newbie got another here person who came up here too. Gone. Just let me sleep, people. I'm tired. <laughs> I killed all the goblins while you just sat there looking at me. My wolves took care of all the goblins. You just got hurt a lot. <laughs> the role of a tank, by definition. <laughs> Enderfall, with his one point of health, rolls over and goes back to sleep. <laughs> well, we could go and, we could go off the split up a little bit, I guess. But we could what? If we if we were to leave, where would we go? What would we do? What are your thoughts? Just to get out of this place? We've got to find the king and get our friend back. Yeah. Now that the cave is empty, except for one but or I two mean, goblins, we go grab one of those goblins, have us tell us where the king is. Why would we give a defensible position up when they're still wandering out there anyway? So if they wander back, we might as well come to a place that's defensible. Fine, let's sit here. <laughs> <laughs> Go Apparently that's what you all I'll take the watch. If someone shows up, just kill them. You don't have to worry about them telling anyone. And he goes back to sleep. <laughs> so and there's sleep, what are you guys doing? Are you guys sleeping? Are you guys splitting off to go find someone? Are you um is Mark still asleep? I didn't hear him talk. Yeah, he's still asleep. We didn't wake him up. Okay. <laughs> didn't get to him. I didn't get to him before Ender rolled over like a pig. <laughs> no, you said you specifically said you went to go wake me up. I said, leave me alone. <laughs> well, I guess we just sit here and we go back to sleep. Except where we keep some people on watch. You don't want to talk to the random dude that just showed up? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm done with him. He's being cryptic. He's not answering anything. <laughs> All right. Wait, uh, Dungeon Master, what's the name of the king that we're looking for? Um, I think you guys found... It was in the note. They found a note that said King. Um, let me make. Let me. Uh, um, King Grohl. Grohl. Okay. King Grohl. Yeah, King Grohl. You killed. You killed Clark and um, the bugbear. But you found and you found the letter from King Grohl on him um, about the where he laying the uh, people and capturing Gundred Rockseeker and anyone that was with him and transport the, all of his belongings and map case and um, equipment with Gundred to him. Okay. King Grohl. Yeah, Grohl. Okay. There's a different spot where there's a where the king is. This is just like a hideout, right? Yeah, the king's not at this spot. Um. Okay.
Well, the night crap? watch is over, so I'm going to wake Zen up now. <laughs> As I um, go over and, and sing to him, Zen, don't be afraid. We have a new friend with us. His name is Arwood, and he's full of souls. Good night. What? what? And I go to sleep. <laughs> I'll talk to you. Um, when you were sleeping, one of the goblins came back, and uh, so I woke up Kai, Kai, uh, mm -hmm. Kai, Kai, and then uh, she pretended to be the bugbear, and then um, we sent him off on a wild wolf chase, basically trying to find us. Uh, so he took most of the goblins, but there's still a couple still here in the cave. Um, and then we were startled because this guy showed up, but he seems pretty harmless, just kind of sad. And he's an elf, and his name's Arwood, and he's here to do the same stuff as us. So, you know, <laughs> you can fill it out if you want to wake him up and chat with him or something. I don't even know if he would sleep that <laughs> I have had my meditation for the night. I will, or for the time being, I will uh, converse with this Arwood. Cool, get to know him, and then maybe um, help fulfill in uh, Kai, because she seems a little uh, uncertain. And Ender, we woke him up for a minute, but he was like, what are you doing? And we were like, yeah, okay, good night. And we went back. He needs his rest. He was a good meat shield. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna go now. Good night. <laughs> so, Arwood, what brings you to our camp? Pause one. Kaya, what are you doing? Are you going to sleep? Or are you standing there with the bow drawn on Arwood? I went to sleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she got over her test issues real quick. <laughs> I just decided I Ender was gonna be a or Ender's gonna be a butt about it. I was gonna go to sleep. Okay. Come <laughs> Arward, tell me of your of your journey here. Was it long and perilous or did you just arrive? My one might say that life is a journey. And my journey has been both long and perilous. I understand. <laughs> I understand your your feelings. I see an omen of a feather burning at your feet. There is there's much sorrow in your soul. Do you need rest? <laughs> I am fresh and have not spent time in battle. It is you who should rest. Do you not... I see you are elvish. Do you not share our trance-like meditation? I am, I am rested and I am well to go into battle. Uh, not entirely. I am half-elf. From what region do you come? I know not, for I never knew my father. <laughs> that is so sad. My father was very important to me. I never knew my father! No, Tell me, are you familiar with the term, the enemy of my enemy is my friend? I am familiar with this. With this. Who is your enemy? The same as yours. <laughs> now, can I pause for just a second? Sure. Can Ryan, have you given Ken any background information at all about what we're doing? No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no reason to be asking Ken all these questions because he doesn't know what to say. He's doing it to improvise. 
Acting is reacting. <laughs> it's spectacular and is just playing his character amazing. And it's kind of you know a little shy and doesn't really want to talk about his history or his past. And so he just says things. Um, oh, I was just wondering. Yeah, like, yeah. Check out my character card. I'm not making this stuff up. <laughs> we can. Yeah, that would be cheating. Yeah, you shouldn't look at that. But yes. I just wasn't sure because. Ryan had sent us background information, so we kind of knew a little bit, and it doesn't sound like Ken knows anything at all. <laughs> no, I, I sent him a text saying, hey, what kind of background story do you want to start out with? And then I think by the time I sent that, he was probably asleep because it was probably, you know, four or five o'clock this time. He might have been awake, but I hope he was asleep. No, I, I, I think Heavens was asleep by that point. <laughs> uh, so I never got a... Um, a springboard from him as to what to do with him. So I haven't given him any information yet. Okay. So he knows We're Diddly doing it on the Squat fly. about our mission then. What's that? He knows Diddly Squat about our mission. He knows Diddly Squat on your mission. He's, he'll join in. Um, he might be on a slightly different mission, but a very uh, cohesive mission. And mm -hmm. so... Um, yeah, so I haven't seen... Our missions are nested. Maybe not the same, but they are nested. Yeah. So right, yeah. I get it. I was so, just... so anything you want to tell him, you can. He's on his own mission currently, and he happens to be in the same place for his own reasons to clear out this couple of hideout. Um, and so... And he probably has a reason to go to F Fan Dolan as well, so he'll probably continue on with that. They might have a reason to do other things that coincide with you guys as well. So, okay, we'll we'll get to that. Okay, I just wasn't sure if he knew anything. So, okay, no, he doesn't know anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Armand, I do not know who who is paying you to clear out this infested cave, but if you ever really truly want to be free of these goblins, you must come with us to defeat King Grawl. There is no pay, only the omens. And yes, I will come and join you to help you defeat King Grawl. It's a worthy quest. So... When... Maybe worthy enough to help rede help me receive redemption. <laughs> well, only our gods will know when you are redeemed from whatever your past holds. My gods have abandoned me. <laughs> <laughs> I never think that they truly abandon us. Now. As far as what to do next, you're fresh. I am rested. What do we do about these goblins that eventually will come back? I would say let them come. We're in a more defensible position now than we would if we were to wander or give up this position. This is a defense, not a patrol. I agree. Should we make some uh, murder holes in the fortifications? I think there's a couple areas. Uh, I, think, uh, I, think, I think a pit would be better than a murder hole, or maybe <laughs> our understanding of the term murder hole is different. I'm thinking, uh, by definition, a murder hole comes over the top, where you drop things on top of people. Uh, you're right, through battlements. It would be confusing. Sorry, I got my medieval architecture confused. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, the same spikes? Price. Yeah, we can go for that. I want you guys to do a uh, sleight of hand check to see if you guys can, how noisy you guys are in this moving of barrels while everyone's sleeping. Sorry, you want us to do a check? Uh, what check? A sleight of hand. So it's a skill. So you go to your skills, you click on sleight of hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working it. Oh, that I got already. Already. What's that? 11. 11, okay. 12. 12. 
you guys go over here and uh, as you guys are moving these boxes, um, one of them is, you're not sure what it is, but it definitely sounds like an entire rattle going off inside the entire box. <laughs> and it's noisy enough that it wakes up uh, Kaya and Tinks. Zen is passed out. Ender. Thanks. Zen is doing it. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Wearing music? They're escaping. <laughs> well, eventually those goblins are going to come back, so we're just trying to make our situation more defensible. All right, we'll try to be quiet. What's that rattling noise? Where's that coming from? Coming from this box. Hmm. We can check it out when everyone's awake. Sounds musical. <laughs> you would love. For another instrument, wouldn't you? I think I could tinker around with it. Night. I roll over and go back to sleep. Other than that, you guys are able to maneuver them around. So you can see little holes and stuff through in air slots. What? Mad owls? Myrtle holes. Yeah, you're, making, you're making appropriate murder holes. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are stairs coming up to our fortification, so technically we will be raining down the arrow from the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> um, you guys do this. Um, hour or so passes on. Um, and <laughs> so... Uh, Zen and Arwood, where are you guys position yourselves during this like four hour, uh, five hour night watch that you're doing? Around the um, camp. I'm armed with a, I have a short sword and a light crossbow. Um, so I am closer to the door. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm imagining the cave. I don't have a full description of what it looks like, but I'm closer to the door. And if there is a uh, hole down said door, my, my crossbow is oriented down said hole. If there's not, then I'm just blocking the door. Can you not see the cave? Ken, can you not see the video? You mean off of the map. Yeah, give me a sec. Are you able to see the map? I can. Move. Yeah, so that, that little stairs is the entryway, right? Yeah, right here where I ping is the entryway. You guys have, there's no door or anything, it's just a uh, rock formations, and you have built up uh, boxes, you know, 10 feet high, kind of to the top of it. You guys filled in the entire area with spoons and forks that have rattled um, around a bit while you guys were moving some things. And then there is the hole right here, which is where you uh, climbed up. This is a chimney chute down into a uh, what you would have seen look like a kennel without any animals in it. So uh, I would assume uh, Mark, Mark's character, you've got a longbow? Yes, I do. So would it be wiser because you've got the long avenue of approach for you to block the, to guard the main entrance with your bow, and then the little chute that would have to be climbed up, I can I can take with a short sword and a, uh, cro and a, and a light crossbow. Sounds good to me. So I'll position myself um, blocking the chute we climbed up, yep. Um, okay. And that way, yep. Did you guys sit there in darkness? Not dark, pure darkness, but you know, slight embers of the fire sitting there. Uh, in silence, as you guys have finished your conversation, looking out and moved all the boxes around to make some semi advantages. Um, uh, Ken and Mark, you guys do a perception check. Perception skill roll. <laughs> I got a five. Okay. I got an eleven. Okay. Um, 
So you sit there in the darkness. It's kind of boring. Uh, <laughs> as you sit there, you hear Ender snoring loudly. <laughs> Not enough that you can't quite hear anything else. I mean, his snoring's almost like the waterfall from the other room. <laughs> <laughs> and as you uh, sit there, you kind of looking around, you start, you know, looking at the fire, wanting to go sit by the fire. And as you looking away at the fire, um, you hear from behind you this uh, scratching on the wood and kind of knocking, and this. <laughs> I go wake up, Kai. <laughs> Why do you guys keep waking me up? There's more goblins. I thought Ender said just to kill them. <laughs> I know. We need three bows. Let's get go get our wood and let's position ourselves uh, or along someone these. Or invite them in with their, or someone just to politely invite them in. See if you're to kill them. <laughs> What if we inter interrogate him first and find out where the king is? Because we kind of need to know where that is. Well, okay. you guys are um, sitting there talking while this guy's yelling. You hear a second one going, <laughs> and he started like, trying to hit the boxes a little bit. All right, sounds like it's time for a battle. Keep one alive. What did they say? I mean, Kai, what did they say? I'm still sleeping. <laughs> what are they saying, Kai? Oh, I don't know. I listen to them. <laughs> okay. Arwood. Come over here. There might be a little scuffle. I guess there I can't may be really a scuffle. That, but I, 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 so I signal to Arwood. Sneaks up here. As you say, how loud something are you? sneaks up here will be completely exposed. So I but also. I will fall to you if that is what you want. I stand guard. One of the boxes starts shaking a little bit as it's trying to move around. All right. I use my deep goblin voice. Who is it? it, it it's me. Let me in. Let me in. Did you find them? No, I did not find them. Ah, <sighs> useless. Kai, okay. let's let him in. Let's, okay. let's let it let me, let me Useless? You ain't useless. There's no... Let me, move a, let me move a box and I'll let you in. You better. Give me a minute. You, as you hear underneath his voice, this guy's kind of like dissing bugbears. He's stupid. Blackberry doesn't even know how to do anything. So many people off as like there's something that to do this stupid little man. I I'm I peer out of the aerospace that we made, um, trying to see how many goblins there are and if I can take one of them out quickly and stealthily. Okay, we do a stealth check. Uh I got 17. Okay. Okay. I was going to say, traditionally, you're not good at stealth. Only when there's <laughs> thorns around. <laughs> um, so you look out. You can kind of see. There's not too much of an advantage from your point. Uh, but you can, you can see. You, you've heard two voices, and you can see one of them. Um which would be number 12. So basically you can see number 12 as you're sitting there um, looking out. And it looked, yeah. Are you guys opening up the, um, you've heard two voices, um, distinct different voices, and you can see the one 12. And you guys are opening up boxes? Well, no, I think all um, Zin is moving a box, and then all I have my arrow out pointing. Um, how are you moving? Are you like moving a box? What? 
by moving a box right now, you get completely removing one of the boxes. Make a small hole that they can squeeze yeah. their way through. <coughs> so this is like a blocks stacked on top of each other. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you like played with blocks, but you start moving, you start pulling away things from the bottom, and the top falls Have down. Have you played Jenga? That's the whole premise. Yeah. Yeah. You can move one tiny one. Okay. Yeah. Goblins, you gonna try to make a goblin fit through that? Okay. <laughs> how 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 big is a goblin? I'm I'm imagining like <laughs> a Harry Potter goblin that's like half the size of a normal person. Yes. I mean, we do miss them fairly often with our arrows. And you want them to squeeze their tiny hole so you can kill them as they walk in. As Ender's dreamily saying this as he sleeps. <laughs> I'm just like, kill them all. Oh my god. Okay, so, I take a box off of the top in the middle and I whisper to Kai, tell them to climb over. Here, climb over this one. <laughs> Just move out the boxes, you bugbear! Just climb over! And 12 starts climbing over. And he, as he steps around, he's, he starts climbing up and over. Can I see 13 yet? Or can I see the other voice yet? No. Um, it's not yet, no. But 12 okay, starts I... up and he goes, ah! And you can out. all, you can always grab someone and try and hold them and cover their mouths. I mean, come on, people. <laughs> <laughs> he just Kill them all. backing away. Okay, I shoot him. Okay, wait, you were moving boxes. Yeah, I shoot him. <laughs> okay, you would not have time to, yeah, shoot. But okay, so you can shoot him. So, I mean, okay, I what do I need to roll? You an attack. Yeah, how do I do that with the dice? This new dice. Next to your long bow, or next to your bow, there is a, a plus five, or a plus something, okay, one, a plus two, four. Actions. You go to attack click actions. Click the plus four. Yeah, click the plus four. What do you get? 17. 17. You mm -hmm. hit Okay. Now you roll your damage dice. Now we'll now click on the other box that says one D yep. plus. Oh, well, um, nine. So he um, so he's like, kind of stands up, gets around there, sees, ah, screams, and you let go his arrow, and you just take him out, and you just hits him right through the right into his open mouth, and he just falls back, <laughs> <laughs> and he's dead. Uh, and you hear uh, this thing. Why? Why are you taking me? You're gonna have me for this. And you see this voice, this little um, what do you call it? You see this uh, nicer looking goblin kind of poke his head, just look into the little hole, and see you guys, and turn around. And apparently, yell at someone else. Go get the others! Intruders! Attack! I shoot through the arrow slit. And he, uh, you shoot, as you pull back, you shoot, he ducks his head around, and it just goes zoom, zooms out fast. And you see this. Quick question. Dog over, yes. The blue thing on the map, what is that? You talking about right here? Wait, never mind. That's 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 one of our party members. I see the face now. Oh, that yeah, that's that's uh, Kaya. That's Rochelle. That's me. I so mean, so I'm I'm, I'm gonna take two hexagons to the southeast towards the campfire. That way, I have an open shot, at the doorway, but I can still block the back shaft. Okay. Um, so this guy is no more. One shot, and he was gone. 
Yeah. Good shot there. Big nut, Zin. <laughs> and the other two, you saw as um, Zin, as you shot your arrow, he and the uh, goblin ducked back as right as you shot, and then you saw a little figure zoom by the little hole that you've made and take off. What do you guys do? We still have the dispensable position. I say we murder them as they come by. Pretty much. He ordered other people to attack, so I get ready for a another skirmish and look I continue looking through the arrow slit. Okay. Um are you guys waking up anyone else? Are you waking up Tinks? Are you waking up the Ender? Are you guys just sitting there? Oh, yeah, we wake up. I say let, let Ender sleep. He needs to heal. You wake up Tinks, though. I'm still going to hit him and say, hey, just so you know we're being attacked. And then wake up Tinks. Tink, Tink. All right. Okay, ready so, for the second, so Kai wakes me up for the fourth time today. How many, how good am I feeling? How many health points have I received at this point? Um, at this point, it's only a short rest, not a long rest. Well, no, he's been sleeping, I mean, four hours. I mean, it's, it's, it's probably close enough. I think we can probably call it a, a night. We can call it, everyone has a, a long rest. All right. I, and I just need to know how I feel, because otherwise I'll act differently. You feel rested enough. You feel healed. All right. So Ender wakes up groggily. Oh, what? You guys can't have a goblin by yourself? All right. Let's go kill some goblins. And I immediately advanced to the um, barricades. I don't think the Dungeon Master heard that. I think the Dungeon Master went to go pee. Ah, five meal breaks. Well, I'm not going to waste double time, so I'm going to go pee too. All right, well, as long as they're all gone, what's up, Ken? <laughs> How many's gone, bro? Ken's telling me all his cool stories while he's muted. I'm good. <laughs> Or lack of cool stories. Well, you can tell them about the fish market you went to. Did you get your um, uh, mud kip? What were those called? Um, oh, I didn't. They didn't have any. Ah, uh, the mission was a failure. But instead, what did you get? I just got a bunch of jumbo shrimp prawns. Yum. Um, are you allowed to eat out at restaurants now? Say again? Are you allowed to eat at restaurants now? Yes. Uh, I can't go to Seoul still, but yeah. Huzzah. 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 I got um I got a couple of donuts yesterday. Oh my goodness! One was filled with um like citron orange like custardy stuff. 
It was unbelievable. And then the other one was filled with um, with pumpkin squash, and it was quite good. Mm. Orange sounds good. Were they like glazed or like? Powdery? No, it was like a Korean. Yeah, think of more like a fried fritter kind of a thing. So it was just like a ball of fried dough. Oh, Gary just left. Well, Gary was joined multiple times. What? Is Gary actually gone, or is just one of his? Well, his that screen doesn't have any video or anything, so it's his phone. I wonder if his phone died. Um, well. I've got my phone on Rochelle's charger, and it's still going down. <laughs> be, well, it's probably because she doesn't have a a a big uh, charger. It's probably not a fifteen amp or fifteen. A 15 no. amp. It's no, it's a wireless it. charger. A wireless, Shell. You have a wireless charger. I do. And that works so with Google. Oh yeah, what? wireless chargers work with the, I th I think the Pixel One as well, but the pic I'm with the Pixel Three. Yes, it does do wireless charging. Really, I might have to look that. I didn't think uh, the Pixels did. I thought it had to be like the Pixel Four that did wireless or something. Nope. Yeah, I was kind of surprised that my phone did wireless too. I just, I never really thought about it before. Yeah. Um, did you go out and buy one for the fun of it, Sheldon, or? <laughs> um, I did. I got it for Christmas for myself, I think. Um, because I wanted a wireless one. It's it's a cool idea, and I wanted to see what it was like. It's and really because convenient. I got I got my new phone, and I only had one charger for it. Um. And we tend to lose and break chargers, so I wanted a backup charger. <clears throat> so, yeah. Anyway. We're going to kill some goblins now? Is everyone back? Did Gary Is get back? Everyone back? I thought I saw him in the call. Yeah, on that note, we took a little break. On that note, we took a little break, but then we all came back and we gave you left. You know, you have to have that climax of, ooh, are they going to make it? And then, <sighs> break time. You <laughs> <laughs> just uh, cut this out and post, I thought. Say it again? You just cut this out and post. Yeah. Definitely, yeah, we can definitely cut this out. We'll just put a little H&H &H symbol up there. No, can't you like cut and paste the videos so that you can rearrange them and stuff? Oh yeah, that's true. We don't even have to. We just do like a little break and then have like one second or a few seconds and then go into the thing. Then maybe this is where we'll put the announcements when we get big. <laughs> what? Yes. Right. Big. Phone crashed. Ender aggressively runs up to the barricade. <laughs> what um, what the text is that? From? It's in the chat. Oh, we have a chat here. Yeah, there's a little message at the top. There were two. It has a number. Oh, two. I see it. Oh, yeah. And phone crash. Ender aggressively runs up to the barricade. So what did I miss? Are oh, you? You're going to you said you're going to the barricade? He said that Gary's yeah, Gary said he's aggressively runs to the barricade. So question for those running to the barricade. Well, I think Gary's the or Ender's the only one running to the barricade. And so question he, question for Ender. He's not currently on because he got kicked off the call. Yeah. I think he can hear us. 
He might be able to hear us through his computer, but um, depends on if he is. Yes, he can. He's, yeah, he can hear us. All right, what's your question, Ken? I mean, Arwood. Can um can he hear the people sing, singing the songs of angry men? <laughs> 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 Man, now you got that song stuck in my head. <laughs> is Gary is Gary responsive enough to play? Yep, my blood boils too hot for music. Is his response? So, and your runs up there. So where are you going? I don't know what's going on. I was asleep. Um, because I was taking a bio break. Yes, I think they woke you up. We're taking Wait, a long, long rest. Okay. Um, so everyone has a long rest done. Maybe not Kaya because she constantly gets woke up. But we'll, we'll give it to her. Yeah, rude. Are we supposed to click long rest? Yeah, you click on long rest so you get healed all the way and you get all your slots back. Hey, I've got to step out for like five ten minutes. I just got a work call. Okay. You can you can carry on though. I can I can I I go into a trance like uh like a my my so my my backstory is I'm a, I'm the the blood hunter and so I'm going into like a you know trance communion with the demons I've made deals with. <laughs> But Ken said he'll be back in about 10 minutes. Yeah, he has to take a work call. Phones are restored. But to him, he's been on the whole time. Yes, I know. Anyways, so, team, you've been woken up. You've said that there was a goblin that came in. He uh, tried to get in, they killed one, and they heard one went off. And so they're preparing for battle. We also heard the one that ran off telling other goblins to attack. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Maybe we should go... Um, okay, I'll just follow everybody. Why do you want to know where I am? Just so that we can know where you want to be if we go into battle. Um, I also position my wolves like right up against the chimney. Okay, so you try to move the wolf towards the chimney. Yeah, just that that way, in case anyone tries to climb up that way, they're gonna attack. Okay, we do an animal handling check. Is the chimney where? Yes. Um, let's see. <laughs> Determined that she's like a 24 master arm. <laughs> and I got a 16. Okay. They're, they're, they're still not completely trained wolves. No, but I just have great skills. She has great skills with, with these wolves handling. Yeah, she's a water Yeah. So they listen, they go up and, and kind of sit down and sit. Uh, I, I need to do that wolf. You should be like. God, okay. Tinks, are you getting positioned in the back? Yeah, I'm positioned front? in the back. Okay. Yep. I my You're done. Kind of like. So, please be patient. I will. Um. So, you guys sit there. About 10 minutes, about 10 minutes pass. And you don't hear anything. Must be really upset because he didn't get to feed the wolves. <laughs> <laughs> he was so determined to feed the wolves. They just don't let someone do their job their whole day. Is ruined. I think he's probably the guy we should keep alive. He seems to know the most about what's going on here. Which one? The one who I talked to about sending out the search party and wanted to be the wolf. So you want to keep one alive? 
Yeah, we, we got to know where the king is. That might have been the one you shot through the throat. Hmm, maybe. <laughs> so another five minutes pass, and it's seeming kind of quiet out there. Not sure what's going on. Um, and then, um, and then you see two goblins pop up as if out of nowhere and start charging through this hole. What hole? We took a box off the top. We took a box off the top? We took a box off the top, and the next lady rolled down so they could crawl through. No, just the one. Well, I thought. Well, the, uh, the other one crawled through. Uh, okay. He I don't know. One up the top and the next one down so he could kind of come through. And All right. As the yeah. first one sticks its head through, I chop it off. I need you guys to do initiative. Uh, <laughs> initiative roll. Um, seventeen. I got, I got an eight. Okay. Wait, Kaya has seventeen. Thanks. Eight. 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 Uh, Ender. Eight. Oh wait. I did the wrong thing. I did an INT. That's not. That's a saving throw. That's not what we're supposed to do. No. No. There is an initial, oh, initial is it up? up at the top. Zen. But it's also a plus two. Nine. So this is, this, we'll just keep it that. Eight. So you got nine, Zen? Yes. Okay. Um. This dice thing. Yeah. Um. Oh, this guy's dead. Which one is? Which one did you guys already kill? We killed twelve. Twelve. Okay, thanks. With nine shot of nine, that's right. Um. Nine. Oops. Okay. So, um, as Ender's standing there with his axe, uh, ready to uh, drop down, two goblins pop up, and you see these two little uh, short sword scimitars kind of just like lunge at him. To go after Ender. And what's your armor class? 15. Who oh. is your? Uh, both. Ender's is 15. Um. Um, and Ender, you take eight points of damage as these two swords come through this hole as these goblins <laughs> pop us and take you. So it goes goblins, and then it goes Kaya, and Zin. Wait, so question. Yes. Um, does Gary enraged because he said my blood boils too hot? He yeah. Never- he never said he was raging. But, and if he was, it would have passed because it would have been one minute. Um, rage only lasts one minute, so it would have passed anyway. So I see right. he's not raging right now. He can't on his my eight damage. <laughs> um, Zen, what's your AC? 14. 14, okay. Um, 14. And then we have, what's his name, Arwood. Which, anyone know his? Let me look up his AC one second. His AC is 60. Okay. Okay, so good two goblins went. So now it's uh, Kai's and Zin's. And 
goblins and tanks and enders. Okay. Goblins. I grab my long bow. Ken's asking to join Ken or Gary. All right. Um, sorry, I was on the chat section. Ken should be in. Well, you have to re add him because he dropped out. There you go. Ken! I take my long bow and I aim toward. Ken, can you all initiative? In a moment, though. Okay. I can roll it for you if you'd like me to. No! <laughs> no one else can handle the pains of my initiative being. Okay, you can go, Shell. We'll just add him in later as his turn comes up. Oh, okay. Wait, where's the next Um, It's up near the top, near armor class and stuff. Ah. Okay. I got a 12. Sweet. I yeah. still go first. 12, yep. You go before. So All right, I take my longbow, I pull it back, and I aim towards the goblin that's popped his head around. Okay. And I roll a nine. You miss. It's uh, as they're coming up through and they stab him, Ender kind of gets away. You try not to hit Ender, and so you shoot and you hit the box. Any, um, anything else? Well, I don't have any other options, right? I thought I could only do one attack. Yeah, you can only do one attack, but then if you have a bonus action or if you have a um, a, a uh, reaction you don't have, or if there's movement, you can move. So you can move, you can attack, you can bonus action, you can react. Mm, think I'm good. Okay. So... Um, it goes Arwood. You move. I don't know if you heard. So, Ken, um, what happened was uh, as you guys sat there, you guys sat there for about ten minutes. Nothing happened. Five minutes, nothing happened, and then two goblins popped out of nowhere and stabbed Ender, um, and then Rochelle shot at him and missed him. And now it's your move. And they came up through the boxes. They're up at the boxes. They're kind of pinned at the boxes trying to get through. And you're muted. <laughs> oh, is it my turn? Yes. Yeah. Dang it, I thought you were talking to someone else. So, okay. <laughs> You're our one, right? <laughs> there's, there's, out of here. there's three goblins. Oh, no, no, no. There's goblins coming up the, the pen. There's the wolves um, at the... Uh, those are all dead. If they have red around them, they're dead. Yes. Yeah, those so, are the ones that my wolves were eating. These three are dead, and there's one in this mix that you that Michelle killed in, in the initial surprise round. And then there's the two that just popped up. And then those are those three wolves right there, right? The three yeah, wolves are those are my wolves. They're my trained ones. Tamed enough. Oh, oh, those are those are bad wolves. Those are good wolves. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They're my babies. Rochelle is an expert animal handler. Or sorry, Kai is an expert animal handler. And okay, she... so four, so four hexes to the northeast. There's like that rock there, and, and I'm asking. I, I don't know if I were to go there, would I have a shot with my crossbow? You have a shot where you're at right now at the things, but if you go over that way, it would be gone. I have a shot. Isn't there two people in my way? Yeah, but there's. I mean, they're they're calling up from the top, and so they're like above these guys currently, and they're kind of coming I up and around. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna take a shot with my crossbow. Actually, should I be closing? And I, I, I'm asking a mechanics question. Should I be closing range first? Will it affect things if I take some movement first? 
So your, let's see here, your, I believe you have a hand crossbow, right? Yeah, I have a hand crossbow and a short sword. So the hand crossbow has a range of 30 feet. So you're definitely within 30 feet. So you don't have to get any closer right now to shoot. But what but is your I want, help, if I want to go help Ender with my sword, I'm going to have to close that gap eventually. Eventually, yes. yes. But if you get if you get within um, melee range, you have disadvantage on shooting. And currently, What's Ender and Zen are at the gap. And so there's not much more room at that gap. Um, unless, can unless I, is that, is pulse. that, um, can I, can I walk up to be like parallel with Kai there in between Kai and the fire? Yeah. That way Kai isn't engaged before I'm engaged. Okay. Yep. All right. Now I take a shot with my crossbow. Awesome. At the lead format, at the lead of the formation, <laughs> and I'm going to roll a. So there's two numbers. There's a. There's a hit and a damn and a piercing or whatever. Yep. So which roll do I roll? The hit is you. Whenever an attack, you always hit the hit first, so that determines if you hit it or not. And then if you hit it, then you click on the damage one. Okay. Oh, I roll a 20. A natural 20 or just 20 total? Uh, 16 plus 4, 20. Okay. So if, on the dice, if you ever get a B, that's, that's a natural 20, so you get a double your damage. But if, so that's a natural 20. But if you just get 20, then it's just got it. whatever. So uh, okay. you got 20, that definitely hits. So now you roll your damage. I got a three. Not very well. not, not very good, is it? <laughs> what numbers do we have here? This is eight and nine is attacking you guys. Okay. So sweet. So you swing a little shot off and you get them with you said three damage? Yep. Okay. Nice. Um, now it is Zen's turn. So, can I not see anything through the little arrow slit that we made? Um, well, the arrow slit, I mean, you can see, if you look on the map, you can see out into that area. But there's not any goblins in that area. And there's that hole. So I think you're kind of at the gap, aren't you? Yeah, I should be right next to where the box <coughs> came down, but yes. I was trying to look through one of the holes. So I'm within melee range, so I'm assuming. Yes. Okay. So then I uh, take out my short swords and swing at the closest goblin. Okay. With my main hand, I get a... Um, 23 to hit. You hit. And do 9 damage. Okay, you finish that one off. The one that has the arrow sticking out of it. With my offhand... Oof, not as good. I get an 11 to hit. You missed that one. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Um, so one goblin goes down... Let's go with uh, this guy. Okay. And now, um, encounter. Zen. You guys, uh, Here, from from the back, you guys can't see. There's one goblin zombie, but then you hear a voice from the back yell, "Stop fighting, or he dies!" And it's in common, so everyone hears it. I yell back in goblin, "Who dies?" He'll die. 
Um, yeah, so it's in, he spoke in common, so everyone can hear it, and then you respond in Goblin, right? Uh-huh. And so he responded in Goblin, so he responds back in Goblin saying, the old man will die. Stop fighting and surrender. Do you have Gundren here? I want to hear Gundren's voice first. I want you to prove he's already alive. And he, uh, you, um, you hear this scuffle, <laughs> you hear this old man's voice saying, Ugh, don't trust him. Ugh. And you shut up. And it smacks, and you hear this whack. You surrendering, or shall I kill him? Ender, is that Gundren's voice? You've had the most dealings with him. It sounded human. Dungeon Master, is it? Is it Gundren's voice? It is not. Okay. I yell back, You harm him, I kill you slow. So no surrender. And then um, I chop the other goblin. All down. men die. His fate is on your hands, and you hear this kind of uh, uh, this tumbling down as this, as this crash as it feels that something had fallen down and crashed off of something. And he goes, oh, and it goes quiet. And then you in Goblin, attack! <laughs> and it is Tink's turn. Uh, but it could have been the other oh, friend. Oh. And Derb, was it the other guy who well, was with? It, it could have been, but do you want to surrender to goblins? That's no, I don't. Guy. I was just curious. <laughs> I was wondering if it was the other guy's voice. Um, I, I didn't know the other guy. I know Gundren. I don't know who the other person. Okay. I'm old friends with Gundren. I don't know this dude. I am positive it's your turn. Are there more goblins coming in or what? <laughs> we still have one to kill on top of the boxes. Oh, okay. I'll shoot it. I thought they all died already. So there's one still coming into the box. Mm -hmm. You're the one in the back. Um that has done something to an old man. <laughs> and um, yeah. Are we trying to kill the one on the box? Yes. Okay, then I'll shoot him. Okay. Going the way, right? Yep. Going to action. Cross build plus four. So I push plus four. Yep. Six plus four is ten. You do not hit him. Okay. That's right, Lily. Tings, it's Ender's turn. She did. She miss. She missed. Yes. All right. I swing my battle axe so fast that obviously he's going to die. <laughs> I get a 15. You know, manage to hit him. You get a what? A 15. Does that you hit? hit? Yes. And it does five damage. <laughs> five damage. You get a good whack on him, but he's you smashed him down into the box, but he's still he's still pumping. Um. Goblin. He is the goblin in the box. Okay. Um, then 
My phone's down to about 10% battery, by the way. Okay. My dead body's a tempted body. Um, from behind, you guys, two goblins pop up in the chute. And um, one of them, uh, and they come up across the wolves. And one of them yells at the wolves and goblins. Ooh. And, uh, and Kai, you hear that he yells, Attack intruders! Attack! To the wolves. And the wolf kind of like sniffs at him and uh, does not listen. <laughs> My babies don't ob obey you anymore, I say in Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> the, other, oh, no, no. <laughs> the other Goblin scrambles over. Um, the other Goblin will try to you tell the wolf to move. The other goblin yells at the wolves, Move you! Move you, mini mats! And uh, these ones actually move on his command, and he runs by and comes at you guys. So he is going to attack Kai. Okay. 13 plus. Uh, which your AC he hits, yep, definitely hits. So he does uh, four points of damage as he swings his uh, scimitar at you. Do I need to put those in, or are you going to? Uh, do you want me to? Yeah, you do it. Okay, I can do it for you. Come up here, four points of damage. Hit demo. Okay. Um, goblins, goblins. It is goblins' nine turn. He is going to swing at Ender, and he misses. And he tries to scramble up more, but is stopped at you guys. So you can't quite. But he's he tries to get up as close as he can, but he's. Can't get past you guys. Kaya, your move. Now, if I tell the dog, if I ask my wolves to attack, then I don't get to do anything else, even though I have a bonus attack with my short sword, or can I do that? Do both. To, so your bonus attack is a double weapon? That's only if you, okay. a bonus attack is if you do a two handed weapon. With two sword swords. Mm -hmm. um, so that doesn't count as your. Um, now I will let you do a command as a bonus action. So you can attack and do a bonus <laughs> action to yell at your wolves. Yes. Okay. okay. So then I'll attack with my short sword. Do you have one or two, Shelly? I have two, but, this, but the second. Bonus instead of attacking with a second sword, sword is oh, to yeah. command my um, my dogs. Um, a fourteen. That misses. Okay. And then I'll command my wolves to attack the goblins. Okay. All right, they will do so on their turn. Okay. They have a. Um, yeah, I, I rolled initiative for the wolves, so they have um, initiative. Okay. Um, Arwood, you'll move. You might have to call him uh, Ken. Ken, you'll move. No, that's not it at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Do I so the mechanics of reloading? Yes. Like what I would have had to have said I reloaded at the end of last turn is it take time to reload? I think you can. 
I think you can, because it's a hand axe, I think you can just reload it. So okay. you should be able so to. Can I, can, I, can I reload it? Um, engage this guy with a point blank <coughs> at, or at close range with it and then engage him with my short sword? Is that a thing? No. Um, you can one attack? Do, yeah, you can only do one action, one attack. Um, and if you, there's two weapon fighting if you have two weapons, but one's with your normal hand, one's with your other hand. And I, yes. <laughs> so I, I, am, I am dual wielding my short sword and my short bow right now, my uh, short cross, cross, light crossbow right now. Well, they both technically have light on them, so uh, yeah, you can do that. Which one are you wanting to have in your offhand? Um, let me see what's in my offhand. Well, you just tell me. Is do you have your, you probably have your short sword in your offhand, right? Um, I, I don't know. I've never short sworded or longbowed before. <laughs> I would imagine I would shoot with my offhand and sword fight with my dominant hand. Okay. Does that change anything? Um, well, what it does is it changes... Uh, modifiers to damage. Modifiers to damage. So I just... If you refresh your page, um, I just changed that on you. And so you can do that. Um, so you can do that. Um... But with the crossbow, because it's not because it's offhand, but because it's in melee range, any range weapon in melee range, you have to do a disadvantage. So uh -huh. you do a normal attack with your short sword, and then you do a disadvantage with attack um, on. Um, disadvantage means you roll 2d20s and take a lower one for your crossbow. Let's do it! Roll for short sword? Yeah, go for short for sword first. Roll for the sword! I got a six. A six? That's misses. <laughs> Dang it. Bonus action? Yep, so roll 2d20. I got a 13. That was a lower one. So what? That one misses as well. What? They're short and wiry, so he's just kind of like freaking around. You're like, what is this? You know, you missed. Like, How wait. could you miss? He was three feet running. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Who? Did, oh, Zen, your move. There's still the goblin number nine. So I'm going to swipe at him with my short sword. With, with my main hand, I get a seven to hit, which misses. With my off hand, I get a 13. Does that hit? That misses as well. Stupid wiry goblins. <laughs> okay. It is... Thirteen's move. Um, Is my baby's turn? Not yet. It's Goblin Thirteen's move. My babies. <laughs> and he comes up here, and he comes up, and he yells in common. Where is Clog? What have you done with Clog? Anyone gonna answer? You killed Clog. Surrender and we'll tell you. <laughs> Never attack! Um... And he will Bart, he dance. He wants you to clog. Um wait, so have you killed Clog? Which one's Clog? Bart. I killed Clog. I shot him. 
That means, that means, that means, I'm the one. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, attack, attack, attack even more. I'm in control. Um, and he will run up and try to shoot through uh, arrow slit as in. <laughs> Wouldn't it be too high for him? Uh, they can climb like crazy. Wow. Okay, he, um, I did disadvantage for him to hit you because I mean, it's a very hard shot, and, I mean, they have to look through this small thing to hit him and stuff, but I rolled two natural 20s. <laughs> He's going to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think there's an opportunity, y'all, to stage a goblin coup. I think there's a power struggle here. Hey, lady who, hey, ranger who speaks goblin, you should be negotiating with them. Um, Mark, you take uh, 13 points of damage. Oh, my. I am Kai, down. Kai dropped off the phone call. I'm not sure if her phone died or... Oh, man. I have three chances to... You so are down, you. Mark. Ouch. I am. I am down for the count. He, uh, Wait, you got killed? Yeah, he... Well, the guy... I rolled, got shot in the back. He got two... He rolled two natural 20s he, because he had disadvantage, so he rolled twice, and he got natural 20 on both of them. And then he rolled the D two D6s because he doubled the damage, and he rolled a 5 and a 6. So, like, almost the max damage you could do, plus his initial things. So, I mean, it was a bad... It was a strong roll. He's super pumped up and power, <laughs> empowered because he's now in control, that he's like, Yeah! <laughs> Alright, and is this permadeath? No, um, I have three chances to save myself to come back at one HP, but that comes okay. around my next turn. Permadeath, you get basically killed with the excess amount of damage being more than your max damage. So, Mark would be hit by what's your max? Damage? My max HP is eleven. Eleven. So Mark would have to be hit by twenty-two um, damage at the get-go to. Uh, uh, to get it permadeath. Um, so Zen is down. Sorry. And who's next turn? It's Tink's turn. Um, and I believe that she is. So I just went, Gary. So it's gonna be a while. So, um, Tink is going to. Um, Tink is gonna run up to you, Zen. And she's going to cast um, Cure Wounds. Nice. And she does level one. And she rolled max amount. So you get healed up 11 points. <laughs> so do I, do I say that's a success? Oh, yeah. So if you get healed while you're down, you are back up. At, you, you back up. Okay. Because you only have to do... Uh, uh, surviving uh, deaths when um, when you have zero health points, which reminds me where um, he's not popping up. Why not? Where is it? Okay, I'm back up at eleven HP. Okay. Um, I would just so who just went? Kings just went. Kings. Um, so I have to do one for that guy. He saved. Okay, so yes, yeah, so you are back up to full health. <laughs> that was two good rolls in a row. Um, Okay, um, Tinks, after Tinks, it goes to Ender. Uh, 
Avenge me, Ender. <laughs> uh, you're muted, Gary. Sorry, we can't hear you. I say I, I swing my great axe down on the sniveling little uh, goblin right in front of me. All right. I get an 18. You hit. And do six damage. No, I think that's enough. that's enough to finish him off. So he is down. Um, anything else you're doing? Um, the other guy is he's already in melee range, isn't he? Which guy? Um, the guy just north of us. No, he is on the other side of the barricade. He shot through a hole to try to get to. Uh, okay. um, so he's through the barricade. Um, I'll wait there. So, okay. I mean, yeah, I'll wait there. I need to see who's even available to attack next round. There's so many, so many moving pieces. Yeah, there's 11 lower, but there's a number 11 by Kai and Arwood, and number 10 by the Wolves. Uh, and then there's 13, who is the guy who took out Zin. Yeah, I've got, I've got my javelin, so I can reach any of them from here. So I'll... Okay. I brace... Uh, I, I look around to figure out who to kill next. Are you going to be raging for the next minute? Twelve. Gary, are you raging? No, I'm not raging yet. These are punks. Two I don't of rage yet. Two of them hit. Two d four. Uh, as you spin around, Gary, you look as two of the wolves. All three of the wolves go for the goblin. Um, that is by them, and then um, they take. Here, that is five. Uh, and you see these two wolves just maul and bite and take out this goblin right there by the entrance. Wolf, and it is Goblin's 11's turn now. I'm starting to like these puppies. <laughs> <laughs> um, the goblin comes around, and Rochelle's gone now, right? She hasn't come back. Yeah, I don't know what happened to her. This is going to attack Ken. 18, he hits Ken with his scimitar. Ouch. With eight points of damage. Whack. Can are you... Ow. <laughs> Do you need me to add that in there? Are you able to on your device? Um, go ahead and add it in. Okay. Huh. That is nothing compared to the pain in my heart. <laughs> and you're feeling... You're kind of feeling painful. Um, he, he hit you. the, uh, and then it's top of the round, so it goes back to Kaya. I think at this point she would, I'm going to play for her. She sees him attack our woods, so she will come out with her swords flinging, do two shots. Ten plus four is a miss. And she misses on both of her swings. Which means it goes to Arwood. You'll move. Um, I will sword and um, crossbow this bad boy. Sweet. All right, so you roll for the sword. sword. Got a 15. That hits. And 
I got a four. This thing sucks. <laughs> you give a good whack on him. He's, he's, he's hurting. Looks like he's hurting, you know. But he still has a little fight in him. Crossbow. Oh, I got a 22. Is that your disadvantage one? No, no. I got a 22 minus disadvantage. No, you have to. So you have to roll twice. You roll once, you got 22, then roll another time. Uh, I got a 21. You hit him. <laughs> the heck's yeah. yeah. And what we got? What we got? Man, this is booty short damage. I got a three. You fish him off. All right. Crossbow gets him where it counts. <laughs> Bitter drill. So at this point, those guys are all gone. Um, it is Zen. You move. Did I miss a turn? You did. You attacked the goblin next to you, and you completely biffed your swords. You but just... your goblin. But your wolves took out uh, a, a goblin. Yes. Oh, Sorry, my phone decided it wanted to update. Oh, good. Regardless of what I told it. <laughs> well, I've got 4% battery left. So, um, I go all Leroy Jenkins, and I climb up to the top of the stack of boxes. And, well, first I climb up to the stack of boxes to see how many goblins are out there. As you what do I see? You kind of... There's not much room to fit a full... No. I think you could get... Yeah, you can get up through there. You can you crawl through this. So you're kind of crawling through. And as you look out, you see the one goblin below you, the one who shot you. And then there's an old man in the water who's kind of floating there. Okay. I pull out my, my longbow and try to shoot the goblin somewhere where it'll hurt really bad, pretty much kill him, but keep him barely alive. Uh, you cannot... Uh, knocks him mm. out with a uh, with a ranged weapon. You can only I cannot what? You you cannot incapacitate someone with a ranged weapon. If you shoot with a ranged weapon, you can always kill him. You have to be melee to knock him out and capture. Okay. Uh, um, Mark, just Mark, the, thought I process. Say the old man. The what? Oh. Attempt to save the old man. Yeah. Um, Mark, you can open Google Meetings on my computer, you know. No, because I don't know how to log into Facebook. I don't know my password. You don't need Facebook to log into it. You just need to click on the link we sent you. I can't get the link because the link's in Facebook. Email it to yourself and open up your email. Just the thought process. Yeah, that's clever, show. Good problem solving. <laughs> yeah, Mark, open up the uh, Google Meets, and then I think you can type in the code. Why would so, I want to save the old man? Because he might have useful information for us. I have no way to heal. Some of the rest of us do. You don't, you don't have to. I was just an idea. Because you wanted to keep the other guy alive and you can't use your melee weapon to, or your... You can't use your uh, bow and arrow to do that. No. So Where is, is this guy within... Um, what's it called? Is he within... Uh, melee range? Could I get yeah. there? Yeah, he's just out. He's just like on the. He's right next to the barricade. He shot through the barricade. I'm not sure where where you went. You just disappeared on here. Let's put another Zen in here. Yeah, you can definitely crawl up. You have enough speed and movement to crawl up and be able to get in range. You could attack him.
Ooh, Mark's on already. Wow, that was quick, Mark. <laughs> How'd you do that? You don't have Facebook. He doesn't need Facebook. <laughs> what devil ritual is this Facebook? Is it truly a book made from the faces of your enemies? <laughs> Goblin faces. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, you can you, yeah, you can hear me now? Yep. Awesome. Okay. Uh, what is the process for incapacitating? Someone? You have to get him down to zero, um, and you have to tell me when you attack that you don't want to kill him. You want to capture him and knock him out instead of killing him. And basically, whoever does the final blow can knock him out, but it has to be a melee. Okay. Um, I, I try to tackle and incapacitate this goblin. So basically you just do, oh, sorry. So mechanics wise, you roll a normal attack. So this is if you're attacking and you do your attack damage and you have to basically, you know, kill him. But you tell me I'm not, I don't want to kill him. I want to capture him alive. Okay. I want to capture him, and I'm attacking him with both my short swords, diving off the barrels. Doing a spin in the air, acrobatics. You want me to do an acrobatic skill check? No, I'm just joking. Like you're jumping off the <laughs> air, spin in the air, swiping down across them. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. And I got a 24 for my acrobatics check. You do a quadruple spin as you spin around, and, and we'll see if you hit him or not. Uh, it's this beautiful pillowette, silhouette. Okay. Uh, first, my main hand, I get a 14 to hit. That misses. And then offhand, I get a 16 to hit. That hits. And I get a 5 damage. As I am flipping off of these boxes and doing a triple quadruple backflip, um, I also yell to the group that um, the the scrawny power power hungry one is the only one left out here. Sweet. So no one else knows about the old man, by the way, currently. Just then you guys know. Um, and well, it, um, we know he oh. exists, right? Well, you know he exists. We don't know where he is or what's where you, uh, is it. Now it's Goblin's turn. And Goblin's like, you think fancy flips can save you? <laughs> Attacks you. Plus four is a... Is in 14. He hits you for seven damage. It's like, I'm the boss here. You have to flee for me. And he, at this point, uh, takes off running. He takes off running? Where is this guy? He is on the other side of the barricade. Okay. So he takes off running. So he's running away from you. Um, when someone leaves... Oh, opportunity attack. Yes, when someone leaves a melee range, you can do an opportunity attack. And so if, Zen, if you want to do one, you can do one right now. I do. Okay. You is still it both swords or one sword? Um, it would be one because it's, okay. it's just your action. It's not your bonus action. Okay. So, do so no I get a ah, hope. I get an eight to hit, so I don't. Two minutes. What's his? Wait, wait, but but I. I guess the opportunity attack is only melee range, right? Yes. Okay, I will shoot him with my bow on my next turn. Can I yell to the group that he's running away? You can. Coward's running away. I'm not a coward. I'm the boss. 
You can cut them off <laughs> down through the chute. Well, don't shout that out, because then he'll know we're coming. <laughs> <laughs> and she yells it at you. Don't shout that out. <laughs> I was already plotting on it. <laughs> Okay, it is Tink's Or at least maybe turn. Ender or something. Um. Say No, there's not. Um. So have we stopped the turn-based system then? No, no, he's it's still turn-based. It's Tink's turn. I'm trying to think what she wants to do. Um, who, who was it that got the healing potions? Was it you, Gary? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You have the healing potions. Yep. Um, and when you found those in the box, did you let everyone know that you found it, or was it something that you just kind of showed? Oh, you guys talked about it, and you just... We talked to about it. We gave yeah. it to him. Because he's the one who's always getting hurt. Okay. Tinks um, comes up to Ender and runs up and says, Give me one of the healing potions! I toss one to her. And then she climbs up, and she runs out in here towards uh, the old guy. Okay, and that's about as far as she can get. Um, Does she give one to the old guy? No, she can't quite get to the old guy right now. Okay. She doesn't have that speed because it takes a little bit to get over the, um, the, box. the barricade. And then, yeah. Now, let's turn. Ender, your move. All right. So, yeah, there's the goblin running away. You on this side of the barricade. I know. I'm trying to count how many. So, can I go straight forward or do I have to go up, over, back? So, like, can I go north too or would I have to go over? Does that make sense? So, um, getting up and over the uh, barricade will take half your movement. So you can only move three. Um, so you can get to... Um, you can go down the chute, Gary. Ender. You could get... You could, you could get either there or there. But not quite in range of melee to him. Alright. Um, get as close as I can to him. Okay. I just, I just sprint at him. Like crazy. Now, you can do an action. Um, there is the action to dash, which means you can run. Um, so instead of doing an attack or anything, you can do an action. Um, so if you look at your actions... Yeah, all the dash gives you twice as much distance. Uh, distance, yeah. So you could dash but ahead. I, but I can't... Um, what's it called? Uh... I couldn't grapple him at that point. No, uh, but you could get up in front no, of him. No, but you can catch up to him. Way, and if he tries to get past you, you can always do an opportunity attack. All right, I can get up in front of him. Okay, so you can dash. You just kind of want to directly in front of him, or do you kind of like trying to bar his, I guess, directly in front of him is what you'd want to do. Yeah, I'm trying to stop him, so just yeah. boom. Yeah. Okay. What up now, brown cow? <laughs> you ugly orc. Get out of here! I'm the boss. <laughs> and a half free holder, wolves, goblins, um, and that is. Oh, I have to do a saving round for him. Okay. Um, and it is back to the top. So it is Kaya's turn. Okay, all the goblins except for the one is dead. The one that's running away, yes, that you can't see. But I know he's running. Yeah, you know he's running. Okay. Um, 
And then where's the old guy? You, all you know is the old guy is out there somewhere. You don't know. Out. In the same room as the goblins or no? Yes. You would assume that he's in that room somewhere. Okay. Um, well, I guess I can come in here and unconceal him. That way you guys know where he is. So I didn't know that he was unconcealed, but yeah. Can I... Um, can I go down the the shoot just in case the goblin gets past Ender. Yep. Um, make a athletics check. Just to see how well you can climb down. Okay. Athletics fall? or acrobatics? Athletics. Because it's strength to go down and up. I got an 18. Okay. You easily make it down. Um, and then I run towards the, you know, the river area that leads to the hallway back up. Okay, you're going to take your action and dash then? Um, well, I'm not going, yeah, I'm not going, like, completely, I don't know. She wants to make sure she doesn't just run by someone and die, but, like. Right. What does so, she see so when she like, gets down there? I get down there, I look around the room. Make sure there's no goblins. Okay. Go to the, the little door stepway. Peek around the corner and see what I can see, basically. Okay, so on your turn, you take the action dash so you can run even... So you can... You don't have to... By dash, you don't have to run super fast, but it just means that you can actually... Mm -hmm. um, okay. So you come down here. You get to the base of the stairway. There's no goblins in sight. Um, doesn't see anything happening at all, but you're... You've got down there cutting them off. But I, I peek around the corner, too. Yeah, you can peek around the corner, and what you can see, I mean, there's not... You can't... I mean... There you go. You can't see... Yeah, there's nothing... You don't see anything. There's okay. nothing goblins. And do you... You don't have... She doesn't have night vision. You don't have night vision. So no, you but I, I have a torch in my backpack. Okay, so you light up the torch... Yeah, I use my torch to look around. Okay. So, yeah, because, yeah, you can't see anything. It's it's dark in there. <laughs> um, thank you. I but we've been, we've been through the cave, so I know what it looks like. Yes. Roughly. Um, <laughs> all right. So, Arwood, your move. Arwood is Ken. <laughs> talking, but I think it's sorry. I know that I know that my hands were <laughs> tied and I was well, tied up, and I had to unmute it. Um, <laughs> how how many spaces of movement do I have? You have, I think, six. I believe your movement is thirty. So you can go six. Going down the. Um, shoot takes some, and trying to get over the barricade takes some. So why did um that character go down? That's um Ki Ki Kai. Kai. Kaya, right? Kai went down <laughs> Just Kai. Kaya. 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 So so Kai went. So hey so hey Kaya, you went down the shoot, right? Why'd you go down yeah. the shoot? Well, because they said the rob the goblin was running for it. And that, um, if I go down the chute, that's the that's the beginning of the cave, and I can loop around to make sure he doesn't get past us. Well, someone should probably go with you so you're not alone, right? Sure. You, I you mean, can like, come the group talk, everyone in the group think that thinks that's intelligent, so yeah. she doesn't just get popped. Yeah. Anyone come besides Kai? What? Well, the other guys well, can't I, hear you. So this conversation would be as Kai runs or runs by, you're yelling at this with Kai. The other guys are already out of the room, and they can't quite hear you. Because in the other room, there's a big waterfall, and you can't quite hear outside the chamber. Mm. Yeah, we don't know what you're doing.
All I know is that. Um... Oh, and so, so that Arwood remembers from when he went into the cave that this is a big circle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now that I it's thought a big... it, it was a big circle coming in. Um. <laughs> so he doesn't know that. He just knows that there's the one channel that comes up that you climb. I got some rabbit meat in my inventory, so I think I'm gonna pull it out and cook it over this fire. No, I'm kidding. I go down <laughs> the chute. Okay. Are you gonna try to catch up with? Uh, I need you to drink a. You said I have six. I need you I'll to never do. Catch. You need to. I, I, I'll, I'll never be able to catch up. Yes, you can. Can. I can only okay. go the same amount as you. If you use dash, you can go the same amount as me. Can I, I go dash? Do, can I need you to do an athletics check? Athletics check. My computer froze. You'll have to do it for me. Okay. Oof! I thought that was okay. This dice on the computer looked slightly tilted. Uh, you easily make it down as well, and you take your dash and you run up behind uh, Kai, and with a little light that you guys can see, because I don't think you have any dark vision either. Oh, you do. You have dark vision too. So Kai's the only blind person in this whole group. Yep, that's how it works, Mark Ryan. <laughs> and you run up behind her on your guys' first date as you guys met, you know, with arrows pointing and drawing each other. <laughs> so, yeah. I can never love anyone. <laughs> you, you haven't met me yet. <laughs> I have too many demons. I sold my. I made a blood oath as a blood hunter and made peace with dark, with dark arts and magic. Ah, it's okay. I'll wash them away with my water bending skills. Oh. <laughs> All right, Zen, your move. I pull out my longbow and take a shot. I can shoot and run, right? Yes. Okay. But You're I thought we didn't want to kill him. Um, I am going to shoot at him. If I kill him. Whoopsie. Yep. Shoot. Um, okay, my roll to hit is 12. You miss. Ender duck. <laughs> Run at him. So you shot at him, you miss. Anything else? Um, I run toward I run towards him. Okay. You can get to him if you'd like to. I can get all the way to him? Yeah, because you, you already climbed over the bear, the uh, oh. thing that I So you are already out. Can I get past him with Ender and block? Yeah, you, his... you guys, you can go one, two, three, four. Yeah, you can pretty much kind of block the way of him. Okay, so I will run, I will run past him and like blocking his way. Or you well, gonna, do you want to flank him like on the other side of Ender? Um, so I do have 35 movement speed. Okay. So I, I don't know if that changes, if I can go one more square. It looks well, like there's a stalagmite. Yeah, there's there. a. Yeah, yeah right there. Can you get around the other side of that stalagmite? Um, he could, but I mean, he still gets. Uh, I mean, yeah, if you want to be on this side of him, you can. But remember, there's also there's two paths right there. There's one for the bridge and one for the steps that go down to the river. Yeah, and, but with if he ever if he tries to disengage with these guys, then they get an opportunity attack. So they've got him kind of locked up. Okay. Okay, you done? Yep. All right. He is going to attack Ender. A ten, so he misses. He swings to get Ender and his hyped up rage and he clanks off of his armor. Um and he goes No, I deflect it with my great axe because I'm still wearing rags. That's like right. <laughs> you 
must listen to me. Let me go. And he uh, tries to scramble up and over. Um, up and over slag tight. He tries to run away. You guys want to do an opportunity attack on him? Yes, I do because I've got awesome grappling skills. I do a um, what was it like grapple to grab him and submit him? Um, yeah, one second. Um, opportunity attack. Um, so I think it technically has to be an attack, not an action. So you have to attack them with your weapon. So throw as if you're going to do a normal attack, and we can just have you say that you knock them down and catch them instead of killing them. All right. Uh, then I punch him with my fists to knock him out. <laughs> and I do a... Um, I got gonna- a 13. With, was that with your short? Was that with your normal axe? Or was that with the um, strike attack? That was a strike attack. I mean, just roll like a normal attack. What do you mean? So roll with your axe. Roll with your axe. Okay, I got a fifteen. Oh, okay, you got a fifteen. Oh, because yeah. you, you have the same plus five to everything. Okay, right. I hit people. It's what I do. You did <laughs> fifteen. Yeah. Okay, so you hit them. Are you going to do um, your – so are you going to roll the dice for it, or are you just going to take the four damage of unarmed strike? Uh, we're just trying to knock him out, right? Yes. Yeah, so to knock him out in the game, what you have to do is you have to bring him down to zero health points, and you have to tell me that you want to capture him and not kill him. Oh, okay. In that case, I do nine damage, but I don't slit his throat. You hit him with the butt end of your axe. and seven of you with a sharp blade. Just whack him across the face. You said you do nine damage? Nine damage. Okay. You knock him down. Well done. He's knocked out. And he is knocked out, stunned. All right. And then are we unengaged at that point, or are we? Well, at that point, I mean, you're done. Then it would be Tink's move, so he she would have run up on her move and uh, taken Slidar and given him the healing potion. So I need to roll a healing potion. Slidar, uh, is that the guy who was with Grendel? Gundren, yeah. That was the front the second guy who was with Grendel when we left, right? Yep. Um, potion of healing. Two D four plus two. I'm going to. I'm removing one of your uh, healing potions, Gary. Okay. Um, and I will roll for. Um, interesting. It doesn't look like they have a, a roll for healing potion. I guess you just have to click on the button. But that's for. Six, eight. Okay. So she pours us down, and you see him <coughs> spun out all this water as he's been drowning in the thing. <coughs> and water comes out, and he looks up slowly, just dazed and confused at seeing you guys. And, um, and the goblin laying there on the floor. So are we are we disengaged at this point? Is there anything else anyone else wants to do, as as if they still had a turn? Um, uh, can and I run back up towards the stairs? Okay, well, so, you get, so we go full circle. Yeah, that, and come back around just a, to make sure he doesn't. That was a terrible idea, escape. Kai. Why do we go this way? So you well, guys are going. Just think he's going to escape. 
It's the only way oh, out oh, of the oh, cave. I want to do I'm something on my turn. What's that? I um, I, I in my inventory there's one lead bar. I uh, I I I I remove it from my pocket and I gently rub it with my thumb as a reminder of the of the weight of the demons I have to bear. <laughs> Nice, okay. So as you as you guys are stealth, are you guys stealthily or uh, um, are you guys being I stealthy? Mean, yes, we're being yeah. stealthy. We're watching what we're doing to make sure there's no goblins that are coming after us. Yeah, I need well, you to do anything, Michelle. <laughs> I need. Well, she has a torch. She said she lit a torch. Oh, okay. Yeah. I need you guys to do a stealth roll. Okay. I got a seven. Okay. So, my before, Airwood, what did you guys get? Yes, buddy. Time for bed. Let's brush our teeth. With that yummy toothpaste. <laughs> Peter and Jacob. Um, so while they're deliberating on what to do, my next move would be to yell to or to tell Ender to get any information he can out of the goblin, and I would run towards the bridge with my longbow drawn. Okay. Um, can can I get a uh, stealth from you guys? So what? Can I get a stealth roll for your for you as you are trying to, you know, go my, along this pathway without being my, seen? My computer's still rebooting. Can you roll it for me? I will gladly do that. Um, boom. Do you want to go with Arwood? Stealth. Disadvantage. I see you, Jacob. Okay. Um, and You're muted, Jacob. So, Zen, as you are running, uh, you're quickly going down this path to the bridge, you hear this, uh, you hear loud noises, um, and um, Sounds of footsteps approaching from the south of you. From the south? Yes. Oh, <laughs> from uh, Kaya and Arwood. You don't know who they are, but you just hear these like footprints, like this is like conk, conk, this armor, and you know, just hey, 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 kind of noise <laughs> as it's coming up around uh, from the south. Okay. What do you do? I would peek around the corner. Um, well, I'd also try to check across the bridge to make sure that no one's over there, but as I would also do that, I would peek around the corner and see what who's coming up. I would try to be my own sort of stealthy. Okay, I need to stealth over here. Okay. I got a 13 in stealth. Okay, let me check one thing. Um, so as, as you crouch down around this corner and look around, peering out with your, with your bow raised, you see Arwood just tromping through this lucky dirt, and behind him comes Kaya, who Arwood just kind of like stomps on by and just like stomps underneath you and keeps going, and Kaya just kind of like, um, is following after him kind of loudly, but looks up and sees you, kind of nods at you, recognizing that you're there, and keeps walking up. I would inform them of the result of the goblin catching. Okay. Is there you the scrawny one. Tinks was able to give the old man the uh, healing potion. We're good. Is the old man conscious? 
when I left, he was sputtering and alive. I didn't stick around to see if he was uh, lucid or not. Do you guys want to go check out that other um, that other room we saw when we climbed up that that crazy rock wall? Make sure there's no more goblins around. I'll I'll go when you guys get up here. <laughs> what do you mean up here? Well, I'm on the bridge. You guys are down below. Oh, okay. Got it. We're in the same room. Don't be up on the bridge. Okay. Yeah. So let's go back to the main room with everyone, and we can go make sure there that last room is cleared and Mommy, check the loop for things. Story wise, is there anything think, you guys want to say to Ender or Tinks as you guys walk through? So I would I would head back to. I don't know. I think this is a good stopping point for tonight. It is. Um, I don't know if we should stop all in the same room over there by the goblin, or if we should... Well, yeah, let's all stop in the big room. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm at least satisfied that I didn't see anyone across the bridge, so I don't think there's any more goblins, so I head back towards... Their room with everyone else. I can't point um, you. I can't point my Okay. Well, thanks for joining on this fun session. Can it was a pleasure to have you for the first time. Hey, Ken. I shall always be with you. Hey, Ken. Yeah. Do you want to turn your video on real quick so Peter can say goodnight to you? Daddy. Also, before we stop for the night, I also throw some beef jerky over to those wolves.